Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. You guys have asked us to do a simulation showing what would happen if a large drone strike attacked a modern US carrier group. And this is a thing. Lots of military ships, US and other coalitions, are being harassed by Iranian drones. Not usually massive swarms, two, three, four drones. We're going to look at what would happen if Iran fielded 150 Shahed 136 drones against a US carrier group. We've already done something similar here, Iranian combined gunboat, missile and drone swarm. But we didn't have proper drones back then. We just had these kind of make-believe drones that we made up. And technology has advanced surprisingly fast in one year. We now have more computing power. Instead of 50 drones, we're going for 150. So today's role play. Here we have a US carrier group traversing the Strait of Hormuz. There is one carrier and six destroyers, Ali Burke class. Those cheeky Iranians have left a trap. 12 miles ahead, they've left what appears to be an innocent tanker moving at five knots. The US carrier group is not alarmed, but 50 containers aboard this ship have been converted to carry three Shahed 136 drones each. Let me show you what one of those looks like. In fact, they're about 10 feet wide, about 10 feet long, and they carry a 100 pound warhead in the nose. Give me a total of 150 drones that can be unleashed within a few seconds of each other. That will give the US carry group only 12 miles worth of travel, and these things will travel at about 100 knots to detect the target, arm their weapons, and destroy them all. Today, we're going to run four simulations. First, we're going to run an example simulation just to show how we've got this to work. I can't actually get the Shahed drones to attack or destroy the carrier. They just fly above them. So I've had to do a cheeky bit of coding. What I've done is I've attached a trigger zone. We can see the circle here there to the carrier. Wherever the carrier goes, the trigger zone goes. If any of the drones get inside that trigger zone, then they will explode above the carrier and do 100 pounds of damage to the carrier. The second simulation we'll be doing is the full 150 drones against a 1990 spec carrier group with old Ali Burke 2As. The third simulation I'd like to run is the same, but it will be a modern 2020s carrier group. Instead of Ali Burke 2A, it'll be Ali Burke 3 with anti-drone swarm ESSM weapons. And we'll see how they cope. And then a fourth run for fun. Obviously, my pilots have woken up at four in the morning and I want them to do something. So our fourth run will be 80 miles away. We'll be taking some Iranian F-14As with old bombs. And we'll be seeing if we can get anywhere near that carrier group, which I'm sure we can't. But we're going to certainly give it a go. Test one. Four drones starting just a few hundred feet away from the carrier. The ships are set not to fire because I just want to show you the dynamics of the drones, first of all. They will fly along at 100 to about 150 feet. Look how small they are. Absolutely. Oh, there we go. Do you see what happens there? I make it blow up as they hit the ring. And then this explosion happens in the middle, which is a 100 pound explosion. And pause. So that's what's going to happen. And damage wise, that's four pixels of damage of 30 pixels in this bar. That means it can take 30 drone hits before the carrier is destroyed. Is that realistic? Probably not. But it would be probably unoperational if it had 30 hits like that. The deck would be peppered, the planes would be damaged, lines would be cut, and so on. Let's run the first test. Okay, this is 150 drones. This rear one is purely a camera platform and is invincible, but the rest are genuine drones with damage models. They're quite close together, but I've deliberately set them at distances where the frag pattern of an SM-2 missile can take out only one or maximum two per shot. So there's not going to be a big chain reaction where they all blow up. Here is the carrier group. Carry it in the middle. And then we've got older spec Arley Burks. Guys, I need your predictions. Are any of the drones going to get to the carrier? Bearing in mind, we've got about 360 standard missile 2s in this group and a few RIM 66s on the carrier plus Seawiz. What's going to happen? Seawiz wins. Mm, drone. Carrier's toast. That swarm is going to get through. There's too many small aspect targets for it to try to lock on to. Too many small targets, too close in. Uh, Can you actually 
really good luck one particular target when it's like that big clutter We've of We've done of some things. experimenting before and it tends to confuse Aegis. Aegis sees so many blips on the scanner, a bit like a radar on a plane. If the whole radar screen is covered by blips, it just sort of breaks down. Um, the, you can see them there in real life. They are actually just over the horizon. Obviously, the, the Earth curves in real life. It doesn't in-game. But the curvature will be modelled in terms of radar. Right. When will they fire? They'll fire just as they come over the horizon, I imagine. Missiles out. SM2's out. Let me switch to the drones. You can see taxpayers' money. The uh, top right also is going to be a bit laggy until some of the drones are taken out. Here come the SM2s. Old 90s spec SM2s. <laughs> right? Drones going evasive. 13 missiles out. 14 missiles out. <laughs> Look at that go! Missile still going out. Wowie! Some of them are missing. Some of the missiles are missing. I see. Can you hear them? They're going. Oh, ow! Smack! I wonder if I can do an F3 view. I can! Wow! God! Drone swarm continues! 68 drones down. No, 80 drones down. And they just keep coming! Ninety-five drones down of one hundred and fifty. One hundred two. Wow, God, they're being destroyed really efficiently now, guys. One hundred six. One hundred twelve. One hundred thirteen. Only forty missiles fired. I wonder if that's accurate. Well, you're losing several drones still with each yeah, missile. Yeah. 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 That's good over there. The blast pattern of an SM2 compared to, say, like a uh, AMRAM is massively huge. Roger. Only eight left. Can't even see how close Come they are. On eight. <laughs> they were... Oh dear. Come on, seven. What's the number seven? Miss. Can't see how close they are. The friggin' smoke. No. Not gonna happen, guys. Two. You left? Even a 90s carrier group just Three. two. Wow, they shot the camera vehicle. Stop it. Right, stop there. Okay, I can see that they got to that point there. And it just so happens there is a missile right above it. So I've just got to find that missile. So let me go and do that. Was it that one? No, it was not. Yes, it was. It was that one there. It was that missile there, guys. So, they did a really surprisingly bad 3.5 miles to go. All 150 were taken out by, amazingly, 61 SM2s at a taxpayer cost of $80 million. $3 million worth of drones. Okay, that was surprisingly easy. Let's try again, but this time we're going to have a modernized 2020 carrier group. Welcome back to test three. We've just been speaking in the interval. We've got some other things we'd like to try now, including drone spacing. But first of all, we're going to use the same 150 drone strike against modernized carrier group. The main difference is these are Arleigh Burke threes. They have SM2MR, they have SM6ER, they have ESSM. Which missile fired will be based on threat level so when they feel threatened enough by the drone swarm they'll start using the more expensive missiles the ESSM is like five million a pop or something whereas SM2 is like one and a half million so they use SM2s until they feel uh oh we're in real trouble here then the ESSMs will start coming out I mean they're almost certainly going to do better than the 1990s but three and a half miles is where the 1990 got to anyone have a guess on the 2020. 3.75. <laughs> Basically the same as what you're saying. I think yeah, it's exactly the same range because they don't use the more, more modern uh, missiles. I'm going to disagree. I'm going to think that the carrier group is going to be insufficient to prevent the naval personnel from having to do FOD walks. I have no idea what I meant, but yes, Sock. I agree. Sock makes a very valid point, and I agree with Sock. All right, fine. Go, 2020 carrier group. Your shit, they went fire now or something weird will happen, and I'll get really angry. Fire, 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 fire. I guess yes! the will happen then. 
I'm gonna pause. I just wanna see what kind of missiles they're firing out. Ah, yeah, SM2s. So the, the idea how we've programmed it, or my understanding of it, is it's looked at the threat, and it says at the moment, that's not much threat. It's a few contacts, it's 10 miles away, they're moving hardly any speed, they've not got missiles on them. Let's use our cheap, crappy missiles, this SM2. Now, when it starts feeling threat, then the big missiles are going to start coming out. Hopefully, that will work. Right, I'm going to go and watch these guys now. Kept saying cheap missile, one million still. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's about as cheap as they get. SM6s are about six million. SM, I've, I've been putting the uh, values in recently. Actually, I'm doing this off by heart, so I can't really remember. But the SM3 is 12 million a pop. S1 missile, 12 million a pop. Nearly as much as an aeroplane, like a modern fighter ridiculous prices and that's why in reality these ships are going to have hardly any of these modern missiles in i don't know how many uh, destroyers you've got simba 100 or something maybe america's got and to go round that they're building less than 2000 sm6s for instance so they're all going to have like a couple of sm6s and that's it here they come 20 million awesome. You also have to think that the uh, U.S. defense budget is 700, 773 billion. Wow. One thing to note is how much more they fired. I'm just going to pause it because I can. Last time they'd only fired about five missiles. This time, because they can track a lot more targets than the 90s version, um, they can fire more missiles out. So already 22 missiles out. Will the Did missiles? fresh one miss? Yeah, loads of missiles missed on the previous one. I don't know why. You know what? They're plenty effective, though. Oh, yeah, 48 million, 50 million. I have a question. Are some of those okay. missiles hitting the, the handy wise? Yes, they are. They're going by and tracking it, which is a bit weird, I know. I can't even see it. Anyone actually see the frigate? There they are. Look at that. Look at the rate of missiles being fired. Smack, 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 smack. Oh, my God. Wow, $90 million worth of missiles fired. 50 missiles fired. 60 missiles out. I have no idea what's going on. Fly by view. Half the drones are dead. Yep, half the drones are dead. I'll tell you what's going on. The American taxpayer is sighing deeply right now. <laughs> yeah, they're whining. Oh. We spend $150 million every second. Yeah, this is a drop in the bucket. Yeah. 90 missiles out. I've got no useful information for your viewers, I'm afraid. Let's try zooming out. That That's happening. That's modern 2020 carrier group, I'm afraid. They're still struggling against the drones. The missiles just don't track them very well. A lot of them miss. For reasons I don't really understand. Okay, they're nearly dead. 132 down. 140 down, quarter of a billion dollars spent. It looks like the carrier group's just hosing drones. Yeah, it is. Everything. Oh, look, one of the missiles went up high. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, is that an ESSM? I think they finally feel threatened. Oh, look, the SM6 is out. The threat level's gone. There it is, ESSMs are out. I knew that high one looked different. He's finally thought, oh, actually, I'm in trouble here. I'm going to start spending these, sending these big missiles, really accurate, thrust-vectored big missiles out. Oi! Sure hit drone! Smack! I think it missed. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I'm gonna pause there. No, there's one left technically. Auto, is it bugged? Raytheon's proud. Ah, that's it. That won't die because I've set this one invincible. Right, guys. It looks about the same, worryingly. Yeah, Bad four Raytheon. miles! It worked! It was better at defending the anti-drone ability of 2020 carry group. Four miles. I'm happy with that. Guys, before we go and do Tomcats, we've got some time. What do you want to try? Do you want me to spread the drones out? Do you want to squeeze them in more? I'll do what you want. I'd say spread them out a little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I'd spread yeah. them out a little bit. All right. We've now spread them out. So they're 150 drones against 2020 carrier group spread out over half a mile. Uh, guys, I've got to take your predictions. Spread out drone swarm, 150 2020 carrier group. Fog walk. I say a little, just a little bit. I'd say it fat walk as yeah. well. Right. I'm sail one. staying four miles. Four miles. All right, guys, let's go. Punch it. Okay. I have no idea. At this point, I'm completely untested. Oh, it's valid viewers. I completely forgot. Uh, why have we not got hornets on the carrier? We've lost access to our big 
server machine that we run these things on. Hopefully, we'll get it back, but I don't know if we'll get it back or not. So I'm running this on my little AMD, hence, and I've maxed out 150 planes. These are planes. Uh, I can't add any more planes in. So, you know, what do you want me to do? We've lost the scoreboard. We've lost the scoreboard. No, there it is. It arrives exactly when it's needed. Yeah. S Simba lost faith for a sec. I'm jerking is just because my CPU is overloaded. It's not going to do better. You sure can Kev. He monitors. Simba, we've spread them out now. So let's see if we can see what happens when we spread. Look at those missiles! Oh, they're blowing up all right. They're definitely blowing up. But how far will they get? And when will the ESSMs come out? I love seeing the car the Aegis system do its do its maths. When do I feel threatened? And it's weird because I don't really understand. I'm not, I'm not even sure CH who programmed it knows how it really works because it all links with the core game. What are the stipulations that make them feel threatened enough to bring their big missiles out? But it interests me, guys. 38 drones down. 43 drones down. 45. Oh, they're coming in now. 51 drones down. PK is about 90% by the looks of it. 70 missiles, 5, 55. So almost every missile is hitting one, guys. And they're definitely only taking one per missile because I've spread them out by over 100 feet. 80 missiles, 66 killed. Excellent PK. 70 down. I'm just F10 watching because I haven't done any yet. Uh, right, what missiles are coming out? SM, SM6, SM2, SM6. No ESSM yet. Not that threat level yet. 90 drones down. Oh, the camera. The camera got hit. That shouldn't be able to happen. That's a bit annoying. These things will happen, guys. Oh, one just blew up up there. I reckon they're getting through. Look how close we are. Right, are the ESSMs coming out? Mm, not obviously. I think maybe the missile, uh, the missile missed the target and hit the camera. Yeah. Okay, hun only 20 to go. Maybe I'm wrong, guys. No, they're not getting through. Yeah, they're not getting in. not getting through. ESSM's out. That's the big mama. It almost seems like the less drones there are, the more um, misses there are. I wonder if it's starting to track wreckage or something like that before they hit the sea. Love these missiles. They're so freaking cool. They're designed pretty much for anti-swarm. I reckon they're getting the closest they do yet, guys. Ouch. My face. One of them is one of them will cause problems because one of them is actually invincible somewhere in this thing, but it won't, you know, in scheme. Loads of ESSMs coming out now. You see the high ones? The uh, ESSMs go high. I don't know why. Some kind of reason, I imagine. Oh, listen. To imagine being there and watching that, guys. Uh, $3 million firework display. They're almost through. I can see. Oh, they keep hitting the invincible ones, so I may have to stop it soon. Yep, they're, they're not hitting now. I'll let them go a little bit further. I think they've got a bit confused at this point. Yeah. I think they're bugged. They're just, yeah, it will happen. Sea whiz? If the missiles can't hit them, the sea whiz are going to fail. I'm going to, oh no. When I spread them out, valued viewers, I think I may have put the invincible one at the front and it's caused a lot of confusion. So I'm actually going to pause there because it looks like this, they're not going to be able to do it and it's not a fair test at this point if they're just shooting the invincible one. But personally. They're shooting everything, they're just missing. Mm, why? Why would they suddenly miss? No, I've been seeing them explode. They're definitely not taking it. They're definitely not taking a hit. Oh wow, Sea Wizards out. No, you see, they're just going, they're just not working. It will happen, obviously, um, you know, CPU's gonna get overloaded and things will stop working. I'm going to stop there, guys. They've stopped taking the hits for some reason. I personally think, though, I've got no proper data on it. I think they got further than the uh, closer ones. I think they got to, I'm, I'm at a guess, about two miles before they started getting buggy uh, rather than four miles. Has anyone, anyone got any pushback on that? I think that's about right. All right, guys. Now, Simba, you wanted to try one when they're all squished together, like really squished together. Explain. Well, when we he did the other video, they were in extremely close proximity. And they were constantly moving around mm -hmm. because of the AI was having to adjust 
to not collide into each other. Then have aircraft blocking the RCSs, you know, basically moving around and yeah. oscillating and creating a barrier between whatever the radar is locking. Roger, I'll try and do that. I, I, was, I can't get rid of that invincible one now because I'll never be able to find him again. But what I'm going to do now is squish them together, as Simba says, so they sort of confuse each other, move around like our original drone swarm did, cause problems with the radar. It's going to take a while to stand by. Next, it's Simba's idea of basically putting them all on top of each other, which is going to be, I think, really stupid, but we're going to try. So now we've managed to squeeze them in a pocket of oh, whatever that is, about 60 feet. <laughs> Simba, this is what you want. Um, let's have your predictions, guys. Uh, is it going to make any difference? Although there's no collision model, they should, in theory, still kind of dodge and weave around each other. I think they'll do worse. Huh. You have a little fear. Yeah, I'm leaning towards worse, but... Simba's theory might hold water. Mm. One one interesting, this is a 2020 carrier group with improved Aegis, so we'll see. Three, two, one, punch it. Oh my god! Simba, what have you done? They're <laughs> 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 everywhere. They're all breaking up. Nuts a butt. Nuts a butt. Make your buddy smile. Look what happened, viewers. They all got upset. Oh, Simba, I don't know. I think Simba actually may be onto something. I might eat my words here. No, they're all moving, they're jiggling, they're covering each other up. Their RCS is going to be all over the place. No missiles are coming out, which is worrying me ever so slightly, or are they? Yes, they're very much coming out. I'm going to watch from the front this time. Scoreboard. Oh, sugar. I've got the scoreboard. Sorry, restart. <laughs> there, there goes, the there goes like <laughs> 10 now. <laughs> Apparently they uh, have a little drone pilot eject. Yeah, they do. The canopy comes off and a little guy comes out. So you've got 150 little guys. Ah, uh, okay. funny. GR can't afford the technology to make real drone, computer-driven drones. We so go. we just hire really small people. You, you hired Rick Moranis. Right, scoreboard will be on here. All right, Viewingtons. Watch the genius of GR. Rick Moranis is a little shrink break guy. I love Rick Moranis. He was one of my favorites. For many years, many a year. Him and Bill Murray. Bill effing Murray. You're right. They're all going to get taken up by one blast. Place your bets now, please. Oh, it missed. Missed again. There's all the wiggling, Simba. It works. The wiggling. It works. Um. Huh. <laughs> huh. Uh. Things are happening, I believe. Ah. I take it back, Simba. I absolutely take it back. But improved Aegis is not getting confused at all. Isn't that interesting how technology changes and things that used to I mean that's that's the whole idea of the 2020 carrier group. It's anti-swarm. We're back to fewer missiles than than drones. Oh destroyed. my god, look at that, look what happened. They all just got 30 went there. Oh, oh, oh. The destruction is immense. You want out? Yeah, they're dead. They're all dead. 148. Yeah, only invincible ones left. Wow, Simba. That was amazing. So the, the change in the 2020 carrier group is they no longer get confused by the wiggling and woozling like the old 90s one did. And it only took 60 missiles and a few seconds to take the entire group out. Let's have a look. So again, it's a really interesting experiment of how simulated technology works. Six miles. Barely got anywhere, guys. Amazing. Well, let me think. We've tested 90s, we've tested 2020s, we've tested widespread, we've tested super skinny spread. The best one was the widespread, it turns out, uh, slightly, although it did get a bit buggy. But what we've proved is, theoretically, as best you can simulate it out there on public software, drone swarm of 150 Shahed drones, maybe if you had really bad weather or something in real life, it might change things. But then again, if you had really bad weather, the drones couldn't operate. So that's a moot point. I'm not even sure you get bad weather here anyway. I don't think a drone swarm is going to be able to take on a fully efficient max skill level set up ready to go Aegis carrier group and the 2020 carrier group the other thing we found out does do better than um, the 1990s carrier group we found that as well although it's also very inefficient any follow-up comments before we go and do the silly bits we've done the science for you valued viewers i don't think we can take drone swarms any further i mean what else do you want me to do about a thousand in there we just haven't got the computing power for it yet I am going to go and start 80 miles away with my buddies, and we're going to try and bomb it the old-fashioned way. We are 10 or so Iranian uh, F-14As, which they do have, and they sort of just about fly with small bombs, so kind of realistic in a way. How are we going to do this, guys? I mean, my idea is to just put 
scenery between us and the carrier group. So the best we can do is follow the mountains north, east, come up behind Keshem, pop over Keshem, and then as soon as we get over Keshem, we're going to get shot by Aegis, basically. I've done it before. I've gotten video evidence. It's up on GR2. Hmm. Uh, you have to be under 15 feet. So you go in under 15 feet through these SM2 nets. Yeah. And then at the very last second, I've got uh, snake eyes attached. So at the very last second, you pop up and you go through the... Uh, uh, the gunfire, and then drop your drop your payload that way. Are you going to go past Keshem, like I said, or are you just going to go straight over the sea, Sock? Straight over the sea. Right, uh, guys, off you go. No respawning. Try not to screw it up. Where are you, Sock? I'm going to follow you. You seem you said you've done this before. I'm on the left hand side, rolling. Uh, follow Sock? Question mark. I don't know. Do what you want, guys. I don't know what I'm doing here. Get rolling. Yeah, a good old TF30 engine, best engine, loudest engine. Guys, why's my reheat not coming on? Scratch every heat is on. They're just not very powerful. Uh, I can't remember how to put this in auto. Embarrassing for you. Get gears up. Following Sockington. Oh, I suggest someone goes over Keshem at least. Come my frigging gear up. Why don't you go up? Go up. What kind of speed are you going, Sockington, Walkington? Right now, I'm just below mill power, probably about 80%. I'm getting down to uh, water level, getting yep. bombs ready. All right. Bad viewers, I can't really show you the map for you because uh, I need to fly, obviously. My bombs are ready. I'm ready to bomb. Oh, the CY's tank has gone. Oh, look, I put it as $1 million. <laughs> That's silly of me. The carrier is smoking. Carrier's... A lot. Oh, God damn it. I've got to go and find out why. Why? No, it's... Oh, yeah. How about that? They've shot their own frigging carrier. I don't know why, guys. They've shot their own carrier. You know what? It's still about 80%. It's fine. So, could F-14s, Iranian F-14s, get through SAM network? I'm saying 101% no. All right, Supercap forming up on Sockington and someone else. I'm relying on you to navigate, by the way, because I can't look. When will they be able to see us? Well, Kurt Irv's curvature says they're not going to see us until 15, 10 miles, something like that. Earth curvature is <clears throat> a very useful asset, as they're funny in Ukraine at the moment. Go low, no one sees you. What heading the ship is from the island. Never mind, I see it. How can you possibly be so far ahead of us? Because I'm going Mach 0.8. I'm not, I'm not even full bill. Shit. One man down, two men enter, one man leave. Right, again, I'm relying on your navigation stock because I can't look at the map in flying formation. Uh, there's not much magnetic variation. It's in the here. 091 true. So I'm heading at the wrong boat. <laughs> ah, don't Wait. break a habit of a lifetime, Simba. Well, no, you can't fing see through the HUD. Wow. And it's not like there's a fing waypoint to it. Careful of the jet wash. I think I've turned it off. Oh my god, my engine's stalled. My engine's stalled. Why did that happen? They're okay. I went in your jet wash and got a stall warning. That's never happened before, Sockington. Oof. Don't do that, Cap. Apparently, not. don't do that. These are asymmetric engines. You can't Missiles do out. Missiles out. Oh, someone's oh, gonna die. Creates good, good dudding into the water. Good lord, so fit to give them 360. This is kind of sexy, guys. Just saying. How far are myself okay, and sock out? Can kind I of move? Cancel it. You guys are 40. 40 miles. Sock, I've got a, a flashing cross. Have you got a flashing cross in your heart? Yes, yes. That means uh, we're too low to drop. Will it still drop? Out. It will, maybe. Tally carrier we're, groups. We're slightly, pull up. slightly right. They're slightly right. I see them. See the smoke. Copy. Did you guys select the ordinance and yep. did it for shoes? Yep. Look how low sock is, viewers. Nice. Shiz. Oh, someone just blew up. I carry the smoky one. Careful, sock. Right. Oh, I made it to the sea wise giant. Ah, but sunk. I'm trying to stay out of socks, buddy. Wake. Distance from in sock, please. 
I have major head tracking problems right now. No idea. Now. You guys are 25 miles out. 25. You will see Earth's coverage is not visibly modelled. Everything's flat in game. I've got some but radar is going to be for 25. I'm spiked. 25 miles, you said? Yep. I really want to see how fast the missile's going. coming out. Appears to be on fire, Dad. I don't know, him probably. Yeah, it's on me. We have a stinger on the nose. Missile's out. Oh shit. Careful, sock. Dodge. Spiky Wikey. Here we go. Hey, there's mud. One o'clock. Fire, Dad. Bye. I don't see it, sock. I think we're okay. Missiles out, looks like they're tracking you guys. Oh shit. Oh shit, Sock, I see it. Singer, one yes, we beat it, we beat it. 12 o'clock, hot, break left. We beat it. Suck it, Aegis, you. you big knob. Sam launch, 12 o'clock. We're so freaking cold. Careful, Sock. But are you really? Oh, Sock. Oh no, they got a friendly. I'm hit. Sam launch. I'm pushing it. Hot. I'm so freaking low. I'm so high. Wish me the best viewers. Yeah, Beard, you're you're hit. You're nothing's out on you. Ha uh ha! -huh. I went under their radar. Are you with me, Violet? Violet. Yep. Oh, they got me. How do I bomb it? I'm I'm literally right next to it. What do I do? Oh my god! I'm... Oh, pull guns. Up. Pull up. I will do. Pull I, will, up. I will do. Pull. pull. And then, ah! and then bomb it. Die, you drop, son drop, of drop, a drop, bitch! Drop. Die! Bang! Hit it. Yeah, hit it. super <laughs> gun! <laughs> oh, uh, bombs went long. Oh, don't damn it! It's impossible because if as soon as I pop up and do a proper attack, go on, Violet. Violet. Goodbye. Ah. Oh. Too oh, bird. Too high, you know. You're too high, bird. You're gonna get shot. You gotta be, and I mean, scraping the water. There we are. There's my bird. The problem is, what happens when you get within five miles? Well done, bird. Don't pop up yet. A little this, too high. This is sheer bravery. Don't pop up. I think you're Just within our men. I think up. you're within our men. Guns, guns, guns. Come on, sexy bird. All right, Come pop. on, sexy Bye. bird. Oh! Oh, a rib? Drive it! Drive fine. it! Drive it! Now, bomb, 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 bomb! Release! They shot the bombs Release. off! You Use your head! <laughs> Trip the damn thing out! Control it, bird! What do I pay you for? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I told you it'd be fun! <laughs> I told well, you it'd be fun! <laughs> we just proved that old F 14As are better than drone, uh, drone swarms. Drone swarms, right? And then again, the drone swarms uh, cost nothing. Not really. The drone swarm cost nothing. Uh, this we cost, still didn't do any damage. This cost a bunch of pilots. I reckon the only way... Excuse me, guys. I'm a coughing bit since the start. I reckon it works. I mean, flying, literally scraping the waves works. But I reckon you've got to smash your face into it. Because as soon as you go up for that pop-up attack, the rims are firing. The ES ESSM would be firing if it was the, the modern group. The, the phalanx are firing. So I reckon the only way to really do damage... I'm not going to do it again because we're kind of out of time now anyway. But... Uh, I reckon oh. the only way to really do it would put your face into under, you know, that at that level there, 20 feet into it. And I reckon you'd do a lot of damage. There's a lot of KE, there's a lot of kerosene and stuff like that inside the Tomcat, right? But you're Cap, talking, you, my, you're talking about from 60 million. You're probably talking about 60 million a Tomcat that you just threw into the water. Look up, look up my video from GR2. All oh, right, I will try. Stand by. Okay, so I'm in a Vigan. I have a bunch of very, very short range. Uh, Balute bombs, or whatever, whatever the equivalent for the big and Balute would be, and I'm coming in at about oh, 15 no. feet supersonic the underneath shooting. the carrier group's wow. uh, missile range, as you can see that. I saw zero meters on the uh, radar yes. thing, so that's under break. So f under five meters, zero. 15 feet. 15 feet. Yep, 15 feet. Missile's destroyed. That's our Sockington Walkington. Oh, it's a one-way mission, but however you look at it again. Uh, so I pull up when they start shooting guns at look me. Look at that! I push through the guns, and then I'm in B-Men. 
drop bombs here. Oh, and then bombs here. Yeah, I... <laughs> nice shot. Again, it was a 90 spec carrier group, but you, you got through it fair and square, and you almost blew the carrier up with all that bombage. It's again, it's a one way mission, but that's quite cool, right? Yeah, if only sure. the can had some kind of standoff uh, ship weapon instead. Um, right, anyway, we've kind of got a bit off topic as usual. Anyone, because we're running late now, anyone got something to say about drones? Extremely cost effective, but. Uh, you see what I use them in Ukraine, right? Carrier group is. Carrier group is still a carrier group. It's going to cost more money to pay the sailors to do their FOD walks than it cost the Iranian government to send those drones. Completely fair comment. Um, I, I, I just could use one of my model planes here, put some C4 in, and it's pretty much what the Iranians have. That's exactly right. Um, right, I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you later.